Surgeons in general are inherently problem solvers, and so being able to think critically about how to solve some of those problems is something that is part of our DNA, but is not something that's really taught. There's a strong push throughout the Michigan Medicine to focus on innovation, focus on how do we take the power of the scientists and physicians here developing new ideas and move that out into society. If we help give them training about how to commercialize technology, it's also in a way how to look for problems. The Surgical Innovation Development Accelerator course has teams that are composed of surgical faculty, surgical residents, medical students, faculty from other departments. And what they really need now is some mentoring, coaching, and kind of guidance as far as how they're going to traverse that complex roadmap of development of their idea to get to a patient. This program bridges the medical and engineering worlds here at the University of Michigan. The diversity of thought improves the project with the different skill sets. So there are a lot of cross-disciplinary collaborations and it's leading to very fruitful outcomes. One of the most exciting things is watching the teams evolve from their excitement about their technology to a greater awareness of how their technology needs to be put against the needs of their stakeholders. The department has committed resources to the faculty to really be able to engage fully in the course. One of our partners is with the Fast Forward Medical Innovation Group, who's provided expertise, mentorship. With SIDAC, or the Surgical Innovation Course, some of that is helping them fund either types of clinical trials or studies, and eventually maybe in connecting with outside external companies. The Office of Technology Transfer is going to be involved in converting all of the technology from an idea to something that is patented. We hope that the resources and the course and really create some great products that are going to help surgical patients. Today, each of the groups is giving their final pitch presentation to the judging panel. So it's clear that diabetic patients need help taking care of their feet. Seeing this important clinical need, Dr. Von Murray assembled a team to produce Hotspot Sock. This was really a, a big team effort over the past nine months. Our solution is a endoscope called Kolacek. We propose multiple small wireless cameras that are- These are breakthrough ideas, devices that can correct a birth defect to apps that help physicians move medical students through their training. Models for medical education and competency evaluation. We're going to showcase the winning teams, which will be in a Shark Tank style. That's why Team Bone Health put together Feroximen. So our solution is to cure short bowel syndrome. Certainly this is good for patient care, and I think the uh, sky is the limit. For the students, they get more feedback, it's more timely, and overall, I, th I think there'll be better doctors. We'll have our venture capital partners from the region who are real experts in medical technology to give some insight. A question about the 80% that are often left behind. How does it integrate with inventory systems that hospitals already use? $10,000 for removing, is that charges or collections? From that, we will pick the winners of the program who will get funded to move their technology forward. Every one of these is so impressive because it's solving a real problem. The course is very beneficial, not only for you to learn, it puts you in a different mindset. We were learning all about how to present a business plan. Things like value proposition. Venture capital funding. The regulatory pathway and intellectual property protection. And how to think through the different uh, aspects of the innovation and how it, it can um, affect our practice. Innovation is one of the most important things for patient care. It's what's gonna continue to push the standard of care forward. It's a skill set that we need to be able to develop in our faculty and it's something that many faculty are very passionate about. We're at a place that we're, we're getting things more advanced faster and a class like this helps to expedite that. It's a real testimony to the Department of Surgery to allow their faculty time to explore getting innovations from our brains to the bedside.